this. Speaking to Metro News after a failed tour of his farms in Dema, in the tunnel south of the Brongahafu region, he said farming can be a lucrative venture, but for those who have the requisite capital to invest in the farms and lamented that access to credit from banks is the main challenge facing large-scale farmers in the country and was of the view that government should set up an agri fund which can be assessed solely by large-scale farmers at a rate of 5%, so they can expand their farms. We need an agri fund. Okay. Okay. And that agri fund, for example, can be channeled through supporting the award winners. Okay. That you people, we want to make you a role model for people to know how you people started and then where you people have end. Okay. And through this, we can attract many people, but as at now, we are competing with those people that are going to Lomi, Togo, and then China for bringing these goods with, with the same interest rate. How can we expand our farm? How can we make it attractive to the youth? The 2014 National Best Farmer also spoke about the need for government to channel resources into storage facilities to store farm produce in times of bumper harvest. He added that during bumper harvest, Farmers lose their investments because their produce gets rotten or it is sold at low prices. On the poor nature of roads leading to farms, he indicated that poor roads leading to their farms also contribute to the low interest shown by the youth in farming. In his view, the youth can only be attracted to engage in farming if the farming communities have good roads, electricity, portable drinking water, and school facilities.